Shotgun's gotta be one of the faster weapon classes to get done, and one of the more mindless. But if you're looking for specific tips, timestamps will be in the description below. The biggest reason the shotguns are some of the easier weapons to get done is that there are only four to complete in order to unlock platinum. The 725, the Origin 12, Model 680, and the R99. There's also a DLC shotgun, the VLK Rogue, but this weapon is not required to get the shotgun's platinum. All the shotguns play pretty similar, so here's a few tips for using them more efficiently. Get as close to the enemy as you can while using the map to your advantage by dodging shots behind cover and really focusing on your movement, similar to the riot shield and the knife. You're going to want to start playing more aggressive and try to catch people by surprise. To make it easier, use flashes, stuns, and even smokes to cover your path. Oversprinting almost always leads to death. Try walking while playing shorter angles and focus on hip firing for some quick reaction kills on unsuspecting rushers. Small maps are key. Shoothouse and Shipment are the absolute best maps for getting these camos done, and are the best maps for grinding in the game in general. Hardcore was my go-to for these. Shotguns are way more lethal from range, and it makes it easier to get multiple kills in one shot. A little bit, and I mean just the smallest amount of corner camping is okay only if you're grinding, but don't ever stoop to the level of laying down on mid on shipment or you're an absolute nematode. I'm looking at you. Here's a quick rundown on the little differences between the shotguns. You can use these to base your build around and I've arranged them in order from worst to best of the group. The Model 680 is, in my opinion, the worst of the group, but that doesn't mean it's bad. Actually, it's the most balanced in terms of range, fire rate, and ammo. This is the best shotgun to ADS with, taking advantage of its healthy range and decent mobility. The 725 is a two-shot break-action shotgun that has some of the best range options out of the group, varying from sawed-off iron sights to a sniper scope if you want to fully commit to being a degenerate. It also has the highest damage output of any of the shotguns, but its limited ammo makes it very risky to use. The R99 is the most lethal of the group at short range, with its unique fire rate making it almost impossible to miss when you're up close. The unique fire pattern being two shots with a pump following it. It also has the best combination of mobility and damage output out of all the shotguns. The Origin 12 is one of my favorite shotguns, being the most mobile and ruthless out of the group. However, it has the least range, so try to play as close as possible and try sticking to hip fire. The Origin also has the largest magazine size out of the group with a 25 round drum. Also, you're gonna get a whole lot of angry ass dudes screaming at you just for using a shotgun. But the members here at Butt Clan have come up with a get out of jail free card for any heckling. Fucking twat. It's like the nuts. Suck the fucking nuts. Suck the nuts. Go ahead, suck them. Suck those nuts. Receive them. Spray paint requires you to kill 400 enemies. This is really easy, just try to stick to the smaller maps to knock this one out more efficiently. Difficulty? Easy as hell. Woodland requires you to get 75 crouching kills. The hardest part of this one for me was remembering to do it. Just try to knock it out as soon as you unlock this challenge. The easiest way I've found was to duck walk or crouch right before I start shooting. Also, with sliding, it's very inconsistent if it'll count, so try to avoid this for this challenge. Difficulty, Ebola. Digital requires you to get 75 hip fire kills. This is probably the easiest of the challenges to complete. All you gotta do is walk around and shoot, simple as that. The shotgun's pellet spread is a lot deadlier at closer ranges, making it very easy to get hip fire kills. Difficulty, Secret of Monkey Island. Dragon requires you to get 50 point blank kills. This is one of the harder camos because you'll have to barrel stuff the shit out of people in order to get progress for this challenge. This is one of the reasons I said corner camping was okay. Waiting for somebody to walk by and barrel stuffing them when they don't even notice you is by far the easiest way to get this challenge done. But if you're a man of honor, you can use stuns and smokes instead. Difficulty? Hard for no reason. Splinter requires you to get 50 headshots. This will probably happen by accident most of the time because of the pellet spread being so random but it doesn't hurt to practice that crosshair placement and aim a little higher than usual. Difficulty? Ain't no problem. Topo requires you to get 225 kills with all attachments. It's the same as the kill challenge, just even easier now that you're open to using all attachments for the shotguns. So I'll put my favorite builds for each shotgun here. Difficulty? Mindless. Tiger requires you to get 25 double kills. This one comes down to luck and positioning, putting yourself in the right place to take down multiple people at once. This one isn't the most difficult, but for the 725, it can be a little frustrating only having two shots. So to get this done easier, you can try waiting until people line up, or splitting the difference on enemies that are standing close together, and hope that the spread catches them both. Difficulty? Frustrating. Stripes requires you to get 30 kills shortly after reloading. Shooting and reloading right before fighting somebody has always been my go-to for this challenge, but I don't recommend doing this with the 725 unless you're struggling to complete it. You'll be reloading every few seconds anyways. Difficulty? Annoying. Reptile requires you to get 110 kills with no attachments. Hardcore will be your best friend for this one because shotguns are broken in hardcore. Difficulty? Somewhat hard. For skulls, you need to kill 3 enemies without dying 30 times. This is where you show off everything you've done with the shotgun so far. As stated before, smaller maps in Hardcore will make it easier, but be careful because if a teammate kills you in Hardcore, your streak ends. Difficulty? 
actually tough. That's all the tips I have for completing the challenges for the shotguns. If this helped you at all, leave a like on the video. If not, dislike it. Also, if you're not subscribed, I put out videos a few times a week, so you should peep those. Let me know what weapon class you want me to make a guide on next, and if you make it all the way to the end of the video, put he eaten beans in the comments below. Peace.